I'd rather people to treat me like I'm normal. If you look at me, you wouldn't suspect that I had a transplant. But if I, of course, if I'm at the beach, there you go. My name is Kathleen. I have two children. Brendan is 17, he will be a junior. And Jacob is 13, almost 14, and he'll be a uh, freshman. Say, 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 talk to me. He is 17. He just had a heart transplant less than two years ago. So this is a brand new stage for him. Brendan is our first child. When he was born, everybody thought everything was fine. But at the same time, uh, he was, quote, normal. Something wasn't just right. He was born in November, so it was cold when he was born, and he sweat 24 hours a day. About three months after his birth, he started to have a chronic cough, cold, and we couldn't seem to clear it. He had retractions when he breathed, which is kind of like a pinching of the skin below the rib cage. It basically happens when you're really struggling to breathe. I think the five month point, uh, one of the doctors had said, I think I've heard a, a murmur. And the pediatrician kept saying, everything's fine. And we're like, oh, it's an innocent murmur. It's an innocent murmur. We don't have any risk factors whatsoever. So we'll be just fine. And one day I was at home with him and I could hear him wheezing from across the room. And I clearly knew that was not normal. So I went to the pediatrician's office and saw another doctor in the practice. The pediatrician calls the cardiologist and says, you need to see this baby today. Um, and not tomorrow. And in the process, we had to move from one apartment to the other where we lived in D.C. And my father was helping my husband move and they wanted to set up Brendan's crib. And I requested that they didn't because I wasn't sure if I could go home and take a crib down. Well, we were sitting there in a dark room uh, as they were performing an echocardiogram. An echocardiogram is essentially a sonogram of the heart. The cardiologist was actually intently staring at the screen and he really wasn't talking to us. And we just stood there stunned. Something doesn't look right on the screen. A normal heart has four chambers and Brendan's had two. It was a very disconcerting experience. He had three open heart surgeries within the first uh, 18 months of his life. So from having a pacemaker placed until he was maybe about 12 or 13, he did pretty well. He did all of the normal things an average kid could do. I remember it uh, like it was yesterday. It was June. We were on a vacation in Disney World. And he coughed up this small, probably one centimeter cast. Two millimeters in size. Oh, there's a, yeah, that's, that's a pretty good one. Too. It looked like a tube worm. Uh, and it felt like a gummy worm. Gross. Brendan was diagnosed with something called plastic bronchitis. All I remember is not being able to sleep for a good year and a half. I couldn't sleep through the night. He was coughing up about three to five inch casts. And the only way you can get rid of it is to do a heart transplant. It was bad. For a transplant, you have no idea how long you're going to wait. The impacts on the family are dramatic. Something I could tell other parents that might have a child with a similar diagnosis to Brendan's is that it's a really rough ride, but it's so worth it. Charm for Life is sponsored by Hope Pages Medical ID Marketplace, who shares your commitment to living well and broadening awareness. Click here and see some more of Brendan's story. Watch and feel charmed.